Welcome to this session where we're going to learn how to access raw mass spectrometry data in R. We have two prerequisites. The first one is some familiarity with R and the second one is some knowledge about mass spectrometry and the kind of data that is acquired. We also have two learn learning objectives. The first one is to learn how to access raw mass spectrometry data in R and the second one is to gain some understanding of the underlying infrastructure. So we're going to use three packages in this session. And the first one is MS data that provides some example files to be used. Um, we're going to start by using the proteomics um, functions function um, and by setting uh, full names to true it will return the full path to four uh, example files. And we are going to concentrate in particular to the second one um, and create an FL um, variable that contains the full path to this MS3 TMT10 file that we are going to use. The next package is the package MZR. That is a fundamental um, infrastructure for all work dealing with mass spectrometry um, in general and proteomics in particular. And the function we are interested today is the OpenMS file that takes um, the full path to a file and a single file in this case as input to create a mass spectrometry file handle, which is a pointer to the file we provide as input. Now, as we can see here, this is a relatively small file. It only contains 565 spectra. But none of this data is actually loaded into R and into memory. All the data remains on disk and will be accessed on the fly when we need it. Which means that even if we loaded one huge file, open, uh, opening this file handle would be very, very fast. Now we have this file handle. If we want to access data, in particular the raw data, or the spectra, we can use the spectra accessor by providing as input the file handle and then as second input the index of a spectrum of interest. For example, here spectra RW1 will create, will generate this variable sp1, which is a matrix that contains two columns. The first column represents the m over z values and the second column the intensities for these respective m over z values. If I wanted to create um, access to raw data for say two spectra, I could use the spectra function and then provide two indices. This SPL class is actually a list, a list of matrices as we had before um, with the two columns representing the m over z values and the intensities. Finally, if we wanted to access all spectra, we could ignore the second argument and just query spectra RW and this would produce a list of length 565, one for each spectrum. Now, this is the raw data, the individual spectra, but that is not enough. There is much more information that we can access. In particular, we can access the annotation for all these individual spectra. We can do this with the header function that takes this file handle as input. <clears throat> this variable HD is a data frame that contains 565 rows one for each spectrum and for each spectrum we have a set of annotation 22, 22 in this case for instance the sequence number from 1 to 565 the acquisition number in the original file the ms level polarity peaks counts and so on and so forth so this open ms file spectra and header allows us to access the individual pieces of information but one by one which leads us to the third package that we're going to use in this session, which is MSMBase. 
here I'm going to um, call the library function with this within suppress package startup messages because Amazon base has quite a few dependencies to suppress all these messages. Now, instead of using OpenMS file from MZR, what we're going to use here is the function read MS data. That, like OpenMS file, takes as input the path to one or multiple raw mass spectrometry files. OpenMS file only supports a single file. Read MS data supports as many files as you want. We are going here also set the mode argument which defines how we want to get access to that data. And we're going to use mode equals on disk so that, again, we don't load any data into memory, which can become very time consuming for big files or multiple files. We're going to keep the data on disk and only access it when we actually need it. So here we have now created a new type of object, which is an MSN experiment data object that encapsulate all the information that is needed about this MSM raw data file. As before, um, we can access individual spectra with the square bracket, the double square bracket operator, like this. And we can also access the annotation of this experiment and these individual spectra, accessing the header as we did before with the fdata function that returns a data frame containing pretty much the same information as we had, we had before. The big difference here is that this MSE, uh, MSNX object, contains all the data encapsulate the raw spectra and the annotation all together. As a summary, what we have seen in this session is we have learned about low-level access to raw mass spectrometry data with the OpenMS file function. We have also learned about the much more convenient access with the read MS data from MSN base. And we also have learned that these two functions provide on-disk access as opposed to loading any data into memory, which is much more efficient once we get to analyze bigger data set. In the next session, we're going to learn more about these MSN exp objects and how to manipulate this raw data.